goes back to Israel is told to adjust itself to the fact that God has her interest in mind all the time. And although Israel experiences all kinds of adversity, which God has allowed because they obstinately continue to sin. Uh, and their sin is always in disobedience to God. But God has not abandoned them. He has not abandoned them to total destruction. The promises that he gave to Abraham uh, will be fulfilled. And the salvation he has planned for the whole world will be consummated. And Israel is still an instrument that God is using to uh, bring this salvation to the world. And he will use Israel to complete the salvation. And as we looked in, when we studied Revelation, we saw how Israel was involved right to the very end. Uh, so Isaiah tells them to Israel to keep looking at life and uh, the future through God's eyes. So Isaiah that future through God's eyes. Now in chapter 52, uh, Isaiah advances the message. It, it makes it go ahead a little bit faster. This time, instead of talking to Israel, he talks to Jerusalem. Uh, 
You see, awake, awake, clothe yourself in your strength, O Zion. 第一节说，西安啊，兴起，兴起，披上你的能力，圣城耶路撒冷。He is, he is talking to Jerusalem now. 他现在是对圣城耶路撒冷说话。Now, from what Jesus has said, we know that Jerusalem plays a critical part in、uh, the drama of salvation. 啊，我们知道这个耶路撒冷在圣城，在这个神的救恩的这么一出大戏里面呢，扮演一个非常重要的一个一个有一个非常重要的地位。So he told his disciples in Luke 13:33， 在路加福音第十三章的三十三节，他对门徒这样说 ：“It cannot be that a prophet would die outside of Jerusalem。”他说：“没有这个先知是不会死在耶路撒冷城外。” So God developed His plan of salvation to come through the Jewish race. Because God's plan was that the Messiah would come through the Jewish race. Because God's plan was that the Messiah would come through the Jewish race. Because God's plan was that the Messiah would come through the Jewish race. Because God's plan was that the Messiah would come through the Jewish race. 呃，这个撒旦的工工呃，这这个这个工工作之一，他是啊、呃、竭尽全力想要把啊、呃、耶路撒冷毁灭掉，使得神的救恩就不可以成就。Because Satan is fighting against God's salvation， 因为撒旦的工作的中心乃是抵挡神的救恩。So for his servant to do the clinching act of salvation， it would have to be in Jerusalem。所以，作为神的耶和华的仆人，他最后要成就神的救恩的工作的话，他必须要在耶路撒冷城里面。So now in this chapter, Isaiah speaks to Jerusalem. 所以现在这个先知以以赛亚就受耶和华的启示，对耶路撒冷说话 ，telling it how it would be restored. 他是要告诉耶路撒冷，你将来要如何复兴。But always remember. That when Isaiah wrote the message, Jerusalem had not yet been destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. 但是大家要牢记啊，这个我们读圣经读到现在，这个以赛亚书读到现在这个时候，耶路撒冷根本还没有沦陷，还没有受什么啊、呃、尼布贾尼撒攻击的。See when he wrote this, Babylon was not yet an enemy. 在这个以赛亚书写写这个的时候，呃，巴比伦还不是犹大的这个仇敌。So it is difficult to 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 write uh, uh, to uh, say this because Isaiah is speak is is speaking prophecy about something that is going to happen in the future as if it happened. 呃，所以这很显然，以赛亚在这个地方所写的全部是预言。他讲的这些话，说的这些事是什么呢？当做这些事已经发生了。然后基于那个时候将来的场景，他先告诫这个耶路撒冷。And、uh, so we're go, we're sort of moving ourselves into the future now,、uh, which hadn't yet happened, and we'll be speaking as if Jerusalem were already in exile. 所以换句话说，我们不是坐时光这个这个列车到到。嗯，回到过去，乃是我们坐这个超时光的列车，要跑到前面去，跑到将来里面去，然后基于将来的这个实际的情况，对那根据那个时候的耶路撒冷的情况来说话。You see, Isaiah's prophecy in verse one tells Jerusalem to wake up and prepare to leave on a journey. 这个以赛亚书五十二章第一节是什么呢？叫说西安，他要醒过来。醒过来做什么？他要兴起来，要呢，因为神耶耶和华要移动他们。See, awake, awake, clothe yourself in your strength, O Zion. Clothe yourself in your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For the uncircumcised, the unclean, will no more come into you. 他说：“西安啊，兴起，兴起，披上你的能力，圣城耶路撒冷啊，穿上你华美的衣服，因为从今以后，未受割礼不洁净的必不再进入你们中间。” See later on, when they were in in、um, in Babylon,、uh, Jerusalem was、um, was feeling very weak and helpless. 呃，大家知道，到因为到后来
，呃，当耶路撒冷沦沦陷的时候，呃，他们犹太被掳到巴比伦去的时候，耶路撒冷是无助无望、破烂不堪，那是凄惨的不得了。And you see, it was an awful lot of the population of 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 Jerusalem that was taken to Babylon. 那个时候，耶路撒冷的居民被掳到巴比伦去。After all, it was in exile in a foreign land. 呃，这个后来是被他们被掳去，是寄居在外邦人的土地上。So Isaiah says, "Okay, you're in that position now. Clothe yourself with strength." 所以这个以呃以赛亚就呼叫耶路撒冷说：“你要披上你的能力。” Now still in verse one, there you see. 我们还是在第一节。And the power of those to whom you were A captive is gone. 意思就是说，以前啊，那些啊，这个奴役你的这种这些人呢，就已经走了。Now, stand up and put on your fest festal garments. 他说，你要穿上华美的衣服。You understand the word festal, David? Festal. Festal. F e s t a l. That's a lovely word. It's the word. Do you know? Yeah, I know. It's a word to do with a a very important. Okay, when you go, when you uh, at New Year's time in China, and you you dress up in clothes, nice clothes for the the New Year's festival. The clothes are festal garments. 这个华美的衣服，这个字的原意是什么呢？当你过一个盛大节日的时候，你盛装，你这个盛装是最好的衣服，最高贵的，最最这个高尚的这种这种打打呃这个衣衣着，这种就是叫华美的衣服。See up until this time they were just um groaning all the time. 因为在那之前，就是呃，当以这个耶路撒冷沦陷以后，那当然整个耶路撒冷就是什么，就在那个哀在尘土中哀嚎。But now he says. Dress up, dress up in your beautiful clothes. 他先说你穿上穿上衣服，而不而且要穿上华美的这个亮丽的这个这个盛装。And show yourself as a holy city. 他说呢，你要让他们看见你是一个圣洁的城市。You are not a captive anymore. 你不再是一个被掳的了。You see, they were still in Babylon, but they weren't captives anymore because the free they were they were free to go. 尽管他们。呃，这个会被掳到巴比伦，在巴比伦城里面作为奴奴隶被奴役，但是呢，耶和华说，你们将不再是做奴隶了。Now I know what that like because at the end of World War War Two, uh, when the Japan had fell, um, had uh, capitulated, we were still in the the camp where we had been for two and a half years. 嗯，呃，我还记得当年。日本投降的时候，我们还在这个集中营里面被关着。这个集中营，我们在那集中营里面已经待了两年半了。But we were not prisoners anymore. 但是当日本一投降以后，我们就不再是日本的集中营里面的囚犯了。Because because the people who were holding us were now gone. 因为那些原来是看守这个集中营的这些日本的士兵，他们已已经走了。And then this is what Isaiah was saying to Jerusalem. 所以现在实际上耶路这个以以赛亚就对耶路撒冷说同样的话。He says you're going to be restored to your pure and clean estate like it was before. 他实际上是告诉说你们将要复兴，而且你们要像以前一样的，就是耶路撒冷要像以前一样的这个圣洁华美。So he says in verse two, shake off the dust of Babylon. 在第二节说你要抖下尘土，从巴比伦来的尘土。In other words, discard everything that had to do. With your captive situation condition, 意思说你要解除一切你被掳时候的所有的捆绑。See, no chains are holding you now. 现在没有锁链在要在这个在锁住你了。You are free. Act like one who is free. 啊，你现在是自由的，就像一个自由的一个身身子一样。And、uh, you see, O、oh, captive Jerusalem, loose yourselves from the chains around your neck. 
oh, captive daughter of Zion. See, it doesn't say somebody else will, will take their chains off. They, he, he says, you lose yourselves of them. There's nobody and there's no control on you now. Uh,他这里讲什么？在第二节说，你们要夺下尘土，起来坐在位上，西安贝鲁的居民要解开你颈项上的锁链。他没有说我会叫人来给你们解开，我们我我会叫人来给你们弄掉尘土，我们不是的
was God's people through which he was bringing salvation to the world. Now she had been maltreated by Egypt and Assyria without cause. You see, that's what it says here. My people went down at the first into Egypt to reside there, then the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now here again was Babylon, who captured her without provocation. Israel, Israel had done nothing against these nations. And these attacks on Israel had been a blasphemy on God's name. You see, now therefore, what do I have here, declares the Lord, seeing that my people have been taken away without cause, again the Lord declares, those who rule over them howl, and my name is continually blasphemed all day long. So in doing what they did, they were inferring that, you see, they were inferring Israel's God was not as powerful as they were. You see, this this is what verse 6 is, is aiming at. Therefore, my people shall know, therefore, in that day, I am the one who is speaking, here I am. You see here, here, here God is saying, look at, on that day that I redeem you, that I bring you back to Jerusalem, you will see the po my power working, and that my power it was, uh, took you out of the hand of Babylon and Egypt and, and Assyria. Uh, you see, through this delivering of Jerusalem intact and without war, God was telling Israel and the world who he was and what power he had. Now, verse, starting in verse 7, Isaiah uses poetry to paint a picture of how Jerusalem, Jerusalem's restoration would look. So from verse 7 down, it's a poem. And if we, could, if we all knew Hebrew, we would, we would be able to read the Hebrew poem to you. But when you translate a poem into another language, it's very difficult to make it a poem again, or a poem as good as the original language. <coughs> but you can see how you can see you can see how he say, he's saying it here. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. 
哦，这这些经文非常的著著名，很多人都是都都常常挂在嘴边说，那报佳音传平安，报好信传救恩，对西安说你的神做王了的，这人的脚登山何等佳美。He who announces peace and brings good news of happiness, who announces salvation and says to to Zion, your God reigns. 这里讲说，那报佳音传平安，报好信传救恩的说，你的神做完了。Now,、um, it is something very joyous observed by someone who is detached from the experience. So the way Isaiah writes it, this is somebody else now talking and explaining what's happening. 哦，这显然这段是是是是，好像是一个另外一方在讲和讲解啊，这个这个美好的和平的福音。And uh, and he um, everyone is happy when they hear good news. 每一个人听到这个美好这个佳音这个福音的人都很高兴。And um um. Israel had suffered much high party, war and loss, but now this one who is who is looking here sees peace and happiness. Oh, Israel has suffered many heavy trials and this this very heavy trials, but now in this short song, the song that is expressed is very happy, very peaceful, very happy. And he ends that first verse saying, "And this God that is doing this can be uh, uh, counted on because he sees that that God is reigning. He is he he is in in power." 呃，这这一整个一段的这个诗歌里面，呃，最后的结尾是讲到说，这一个神是你们可以做你们的后盾，你们。So he he calls out to the watchman. He says, "Come on, shout, shout, and be a little bit happy." So in the eighth verse, we see, "Hear, you who are blessed by the Lord's voice, they are going to shout together." Because they are going to see, they, they the watchman is the one who is going to see this happening. Oh, because those who are blessed by the Lord will see. Listen, you watchmen, lift up your voices. They shout together, joyfully together, for they will see with their own eyes when the Lord restores Zion. So they will rise up and sing together. Because why? Because when the Lord comes to Zion, they will be able to see with their own eyes when the Lord restores Zion. And they will see God restore Zion. So these who watch are very happy. Now, uh, again, still talking about Jerusalem. Um, break forth, shout joyfully together, you you waste places of Jerusalem. This the ninth verse says, Jerusalem is a joyful assembly. You see, when 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 Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem. The uh, temple was was uh, destroyed. The walls were knocked down. The houses were burned, and it was just desolation. Uh, 大家知道，尼布贾尼撒践踏圣城的时候，那是城墙被毁了，房子被推倒了，圣殿被烧掉，是一切整个一片荒凉，一片凄惨，那就是残垣断壁。And the and the in the poem he uses, you waste places of Jerusalem. Uh, Um, shout for joy together, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted His people; He has redeemed Jerusalem. So in the ninth verse, he says, "This destroyed temple, this Jerusalem, the wild place, will make a joyful song together because the Lord has comforted His people and redeemed Jerusalem." See, those waste places will be joyful again. 意思说，那些荒场、那些废墟将要什么？将要变成欢声、欢欢歌啊、呃，这个笑语的地方。Like it had been in the past， 就像过以往的时候一样。This brings comfort to the people of Jerusalem。所以这实在是安慰了耶路撒冷的百姓。And this is Lord's redemption which they will experience。这是耶和华的救赎，他们一定会要亲自的领受这样的拯救。You see, and then, uh.
And then in verse 11, uh, Isaiah then tells the people of Jerusalem to go out from the place of their captivity, leaving everything unclean behind. Uh, you see, touch, depart, depart, go out from there, touch nothing unclean, go out of the midst of her, purify yourselves, you who carry the vessels of the Lord. You see, Isaiah understood uh, uh, what he was saying here. They must purify themselves because they will be carrying back to Jerusalem the holy instruments that belong to the temple. And uh, um, and those those uh, utensils will again be used to worship the holy God. And then in the poem it says, uh, he tells them, they have plenty of time, don't, be, don't rush. See, don't, don't say, well, I don't have time to purify myself. Because they will not be going out in a hurry. Babylon was destroyed. Babylon Cyrus made a decree. Okay, you folks can go home. Not you must go home, but you can go home. Um see, see, you will not go out in haste, you uh, nor will you go as fugitives. 他说, 第十二节说, For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be behind you. 他说, their departure will be ordered. Not fleeing like fugitive. They will, they will travel as free citizens escorted by their Lord with a vanguard going before and a rear guard following behind. Now, turn back to chapter 48. And uh, this poem is recounting what Isaiah had said in uh, chapter 48. And um, uh, Eighteen and nineteen. Now, um, no, I say it would better if we went to like nineteen is the verse is down to uh, twenty twenty one. See, go forth from Babylon, flee from the Chaldeans, declare with a sound of joyful shouting, proclaim this, send it out to the ends of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob, 
and they did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made the water flow out of the rock for them, split the rock, and the waters gushed forth. 在第二十节说，四十八章二十节，你们要从巴比伦出来，从加勒底人中逃脱，以欢扬的声音传，欢呼的声音传扬说，耶和华救赎了他的仆人雅各。你们要将这事儿宣扬到地极，耶和华引导他们进过沙漠，他们并不干渴，他们，呃，他为他们使水从磐石而流，分裂磐石，水就涌出。You see, in this chapter,、uh, God says, "Behold, I will do something new." 这里讲到是说，耶和华说，我要做一件新事。I will make a road, a road way in the wilderness. 我要在沙漠中给你们开一条道路。I will make rivers in the desert. 我要在沙漠中给你们开江河。Remember, when Israel left Egypt, the sea the sea stood before them. 当以色列人离开这个呃这个这个埃及以后，在他们前面曾经有红海挡道。But leaving Babylon. A waterless desert stands before them. 现在他们离开巴比伦，重重回耶路撒冷的时候，不是前面不是河，乃是沙漠。In both instances, God made a way for His people. 在两种情形之下，耶和华都替他们开辟一条道路。From Egypt, He divided the sea for them to go through. 在从埃及出来的时候，遇到红海的时候，他们就在他就在在这个红海中给他们分开红海，啊，使得他们可以。From Babylon, he provided water in the desert for them to cross over. Oh, this in from Babylon 出来的时候，他们经过沙漠，所以呢，他在沙漠中给他们开江河，使得他们可以啊，这个穿越沙漠。And that is the end of uh, uh, this um, this lesson, which is Jerusalem. Being redeemed and brought back into place, so that God's work of salvation could continue. So we see that in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 12, the task has been completed. This task is done. The task of the redemption of the people of Israel has been completed. The task of the redemption of the people of Israel has been completed. The task of the redemption of the people of Israel has been completed. 那么这个主角可以真正的可以登场来啊，成、uh, 来成就耶和华的这个救恩。And the next lesson, uh, Isaiah jumps into the five hundred over five hundred years into the future. Uh, it's about five hundred years into the future. 在五以赛亚书五十二章的第十三节开始，以赛亚飞越了，穿穿越时空，提早了五百多年就。提呃，就记载了一个重要的预言。And for Isaiah, this was almost seven hundred years. 对以赛亚这个人来说，也至少是七百年，提早七百年。Do you have any comments? 大家有没有什么话要说？ As you read and hear these lessons and read Isaiah, can you see any similarity in our life today? 大家在读以赛亚书的时候，在听这些课的时候，大家有没有注意到一件事情？是，你有没有感觉到，就是好像在我们现在的这个时代？我们现在的啊、呃、生活当中有没有一些好像相似啊、呃、似曾相识的地方 ？Can you can you see any? Think try to think try to think that through. Now we you have to take this into consideration. Isaiah. Was all of Isaiah's talking and prophesying was before Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the dead. 呃，有件事大家要了解，就是以赛亚是在公元前差不多七百年左右的这个人，所以他是他比主耶稣的年代要早七百年。
And uh, so, you and I, the way of, for, for you and I, the way of salvation, the, the preparing the, the salvation has been completed. With Isaiah, it wasn't yet completed. 所以有一个很重要的不同是，我们现在今天我们看这个圣经什么呢？是所有的救恩的所有的步骤全部完成了，因为主耶稣已经来过了，也复活了。但是以赛亚的年代，他还没有，这是事情耶和华的救恩，还
，圣经里面没有一个地方对我们今天的生活毫无用处的地方，每一个地方实际上都蕴藏着一些真理，对我们的教导，呃，与我们的灵魂是有是呃有有益的，是引导我们的人生的。All right, Bill, will you close us in prayer, please? We'll ask Bill, 兄弟，给大家做结束吧。